Are you ready to test yourself and practice for your CAPM and PMP exam? Let's dive right into it with these questions focused on the work breakdown structure. During this quiz, when I read a question to you, you'll have a couple of seconds to come up with the correct answer. But since you may not have enough time, pause the video right after I read the question. And in the comment section below, write down your question number, your answer, and a comment of why you think it's correct. And afterwards, hit that comment button. And that can respond and give you the best coaching, the mentorship, and the advice to help accelerate your learning curve and you'll be ready to dominate and pass your CAPM and PMP exam. Be sure to stay until the end of the video for an analysis of how well you did and what areas you should focus on leveling up for your exam. Without further ado, let's get started. Question 1. A work breakdown structure is used to decompose your project into all of the activities required to execute your project. During which stage of the project lifecycle would you typically create a work breakdown structure? Is it A. Initiation B. Planning C. Execution or D. Monitoring and Controlling so which answer did you choose? If you selected B, then you are correct. The WBS is created when you're in the planning process group of your project. After you've worked with your team to define the scope of your project, as well as collecting the requirements of your project. Question 2. You have been recently assigned as a project manager to lead a team for constructing a new house. You've met with your project sponsor, team, and your customers to define the scope of your project. To proceed with the next steps of planning out your project, what would be the next step that you should take to plan out your project's work? Is it A. Developing a schedule B. Collecting product requirements C. Developing a work breakdown structure or D. Creating a budget Pause the video and write down which answer choice you think is correct. If you chose C, then you are correct. Once you have collaborated with your team to define the scope of your project, you have already defined the requirements of both your project and the desired final product. Therefore, the next step would be to develop a work breakdown structure so you can break down your project's work into much more manageable deliverables. Question 3. After which process group do you create a work breakdown structure with your team members? A. Define scope. B. Validate scope. C. Collect requirements. Or D. Create WBS. Now this question requires you to understand the correct flow of the different process groups for scope management. So if you selected A, then you are correct. Only after you and your team have defined the scope of your project can you work with your team to create a WBS. The reason is that you need to have a clear understanding of your project's scope and requirements before you can begin identifying and breaking down your project's work. If you don't know what your scope is or what your requirements are, how can you effectively manage and plan out your project without preventing scope creep? By the way, if you're getting a lot of value out of this video, and if you want more weekly quizzes and tips and tricks to pass your CAPM and PMP certification exam, smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. On to our next question. Question 4. In the below work breakdown structure, the highlighted box is best described as Is it A. Control account B. Work package C. Project name or D. Project task The correct answer is A. The work package is at the lowest level of a WBS, while the control account is the higher bucket which consists of one or more work packages. Question 5. True or false? A project manager should create the WBS with the assistance of only the project engineers on the team. The correct answer is false. The project manager should work with the entire team and other stakeholders as needed to develop the work breakdown structure. To make sure that you cover the entire scope of the project, you want to work with all key members on your team to plan, organize, and divide all of the work from your project. Remember, the WBS is intended to cover 100% of your project scope. Anything that's outside the scope of your project will not be covered in your WBS. So how did you do? Which section did you score the highest in? And which section did you score the lowest in? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, what topics were the most challenging for you and what are other topics that you'd like me to cover in future upcoming videos to help you pass and dominate your CAPM and PMP certification exam? Let me know by writing it down in the comment section below. So thank you so much for checking out today's video. Subscribe for more CAPM and PMP training videos and free weekly quizzes just like this one. And if you haven't done so already, smash that like button and give this video a huge thumbs up.
I'm Alvin the PM, bringing you the best tips and tricks in project management, and I'll see you in the next video.